To first explain the meaning of precision livestock farming, PLF, that is that we try to monitor animals continuously, that means seven, hour, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, we try to monitor them continuously, day and night, every second they are monitored. Um, what is the idea behind? We want to know continuously how the animal is feeling, is behaving, and we want to take that into account in working with animals. Um, what is the reason? Why is there a need for this? So we do that with cameras, with microphones, with sensors around or on the animals. Is there a need? Yes, I think so. Because the worldwide demand for animal products is increasing, I will not say dramatically, but in some way it is like that. The expectation is that for the next 15 years, the demand, the worldwide demand for animal products might increase with 40%. Mean at the same time, however, the number of farmers is decreasing. So the groups of animals will be bigger and bigger. And the farmer is squeezed into that situation to make his living, he needs more animals. But he has no time anymore for each individual animal. So he needs technology to replace his ears and eyes and follow these animals continuously. That's why we need it. Okay? It will not help us if animal production goes only in countries with farms of 300,000 pigs, for example. This is not what we want. We need this technology here to be competitive, to make our farmers that they can live in a good way. There is also no need anymore to go in farms with hidden cameras to show what is wrong. The farmer is using the technology himself to give transparency to the community and to know what's going on in his farm. Um, the main livestock species that we target on now, so far, is poultry, chicken, is pigs and cows. But there is no reason to also apply this to other species. The reason why it's now on those species, because that is the most intensive livestock production units and we want to make sure that there is a continuous uh, monitoring of animal welfare, animal health, production numbers and environmental impact. That's why we started there. Is it uh, interesting to implement this in Mediterranean countries? Absolutely. There is no reason why the more extensive way should not use this technology. For example, yesterday we visited a very nice farm with sheep if I see how they measure, for instance, the weight of the animals, I think it is far too stressful. We can do that with a camera. You don't need further equipment. One top view camera can easily film the animals and in real time calculate what the animals are weighing. What we told the farmer is we have um, a chip under design that goes in the ear tag and it can measure the temperature, the activity and the real-time stress of the animals. And stress is a very important issue for livestock production and animals. Another thing is, as I said, so far we don't use the intelligence of animals. Animals are quite intelligent. We put them in a boring environment. They will perform better, behave better, if we can play and interact with them. And uh, there is uh, many examples like in the course here that was given in this institute. This international course is important to make people who work with animals, to make them understand that all this technology is available, but those people, you people, have to use it to make progress and develop products that we don't only help animals, but we have to help all stakeholders, the farmer, the retailers, the slaughtering house, the feeding companies, the technology companies, the consumers, that they know what they get and they can rely on. This is a transparent business.